Hello again and welcome to today's vlog. I'm going to show you a little look inside my meal prep, what I am going to be eating for this week and <sighs> something big has changed in my life, in my husband's life. We are going vegan. What? Oh my God, Christina the meat eater going vegan. So why am I going vegan? We watched a documentary and it got me. It got me. On Netflix, it's called Game Changers. Um, but just seeing how protein affects you, just like on a human being level, <laughs> it's just, it was freaking fascinating. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it for like a couple days and let me just see how I feel. And um, so I felt, and I feel the best I've ever felt. I have so much energy I have only had a cup of coffee today and I am usually like one bang energy drink down by now. I have so much energy. I'm sleeping so good. My digestion, can I just tell you? So good. Like I thought my digestion was good before, but I'm just going to tell you, you know, everybody poops. Let's get that out of the way. I talk about poop, pooping to my clients so often because digestion is, is important and uh, ever since going plant-based, ever since going vegan, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is go to the bathroom. I no longer need my probiotic or my coffee to go to the bathroom. That's never happened before. So that's interesting to me. If I end my night eating animal meat, I don't go to the bathroom the next morning until I have something to stimulate my digestive system, like coffee. But with going plant-based, I my feet touch the ground and I'm like, gotta go. Amazing. Um, I, my cravings, like so every couple nights I'll crave chocolate, like while I'm in bed, don't crave anything, nothing. I do not crave sugar. It's crazy. So I am going, and I'm also, okay. So I'm doing it as well for, to see if it impacts my acne at all. So in addition to going vegan, I'm also going uh, gluten free as well because I listened to a podcast and this woman had the same exact skin issues as I did. And she said that she tried everything until she actually went uh, gluten free and dairy free, she said. So I don't need to worry about that with going vegan, but because I'm already gonna be doing dairy free. So I'm taking it a step further and going gluten free and I'm going to be doing gluten free for at least six weeks to see if it helps my skin, gluten and dairy free. I'm not sure if I'll introduce um, animal meat protein I don't, I don't know. I would, I'm going to try to go six weeks and I'm, and maybe I'll go longer. Maybe I'm changed. Maybe I'm done. I don't know. Um, but so far I feel amazing. So vegan, and then gluten-free, which cuts out, um, I think, tempeh, the, an, um, the protein source of vegans, and then soy. So soy, actually, I do, I think I have an intolerance because every time I have, for the most part, every time I have soy, like if I have soy sauce, stomach ache, if I have edamame, stomach ache, um, I just get an immediate stomach ache and blow and it hurts. So I usually stay away from soy, and so that takes away the other protein source that vegans eat, um, like tofu and just soy protein products. So getting protein in when you are trying to be vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free, you really can only get the protein sources from plants and like grains. Um, the Beyond Meat burgers and products have are gluten and soy-free, so I can have that. Thank God, um, today is the first time I'm trying one of those products, so you'll get to see that. Vegan food is expensive and it's high calorie. So that's actually a good thing for me because I need to raise my calories. So I've just been eating a ton more carbs, um, specifically a ton more carbs. And then my fat, I'm still trying to get up there. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. So come along for this new journey. It's, so unexpected of me, but um, let me show you what I am making Brian for his meal prep. So this is going to be his lunch for probably uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and I did cook him something yesterday, so he has lunch for Monday, Tuesday, which is just rice and some garden, um, like Asian gojujang kind of chicken um, that I put in the 
oven last night. Super easy meal prep for him. And then I also put it, I also roasted some cauliflower for him in that meal. So he has rice, some garden fake chicken, um, and curried cauliflower. And then this is gonna be a second meal, which is going to be sweet potatoes that are simmered in this red Thai curry sauce. We usually have this every single week with chicken, sweet potatoes, and either broccoli or cauliflower. But I am going to just simply um, simmer the, his sweet potatoes in here so that that's how they're gonna cook. So it's gonna be so, so flavorful. And then I have some leftover Brussels sprouts that I really need to eat. So I'm gonna put the Brussels sprouts in this meal. And then for his protein, he is going to have this uh, satan. I, I hope I'm saying this stuff right. Um, satan. And it is, it looks like it's not seasoned, which is what I wanted because I'm going to be stirring it into the red Thai curry sauce um, when the potatoes are done. Um, so I am going to put this all together right now and I'll quickly show you because it's, it's so easy. So the pan is heating up. It is on medium high on level seven and so it's nice and warm. So let me show you how easy this is. So I just spray the pan with a little cooking spray just to make sure nothing sticks. And then this is, this is our dinner. We have this once a week, every week. It's so easy. It's the perfect dinner if you like have very little time or you just don't feel like cooking or for meal prep. Oh my God, buy two uh, packets of the sauce and cook your potatoes. And then if you do eat meat, do the chicken or whatever type of protein and it simmers all on the pan and you don't have to do anything else. So I'm just gonna pour this on. Woo! And so I'm just gonna add the sweet potatoes I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium because as you guys saw, it is very hot. And I'm just gonna try to get all the rest of the sauce out of here. And then all I do is I stir it around, I add some salt, I add a little bit more curry powder because we love curry. If you don't, if you're not like catching the drift already, we love curry. And that's pretty much done. So now I am just gonna stir it. Just make sure all the sweet potatoes are covered. All right, I'm just gonna add the curry after when everything is together so that I can properly season the satan. And don't make fun of me, this pan did not come with a top, so this is what I have to do. I have to put our pizza one on top. And then I put my tea kettle on top of that just to make sure it's like on there good, but you know. If anyone wants to buy me some new pans. Christmas is coming. Okay, 18 minutes. So I am gonna let that go and then that's, I have the leftover, I have the leftover Brussels sprouts. So his meal is done. Let me just show you some of the staple things for our little vegan, I guess, experiment. This chive almond milk cream cheese from Kite Hill, so good, you really cannot tell the difference. I really do recommend trying to take out dairy, you know, just for inflammation purposes, acne, um, just not great on the digestive system and causes a lot of inflammation. So this, I mean, you really cannot tell the difference, it's so good. So I love having this, and then I love feta cheese so much. So I haven't opened this yet. Um, I'm really excited to. I want to make my Mediterranean uh, quinoa bowl and top it with this feta. So I will let you guys know how this is because I love my feta. And I wanted to show you, Brian has, we, oh, let me see. Oh, there's one left because he left me one. So yeah, he's been, um, a little obsessed, but these are so good. I got these at my local grocery store. Chocolate chip, uh, they're like just cookie dough bites. Oh my God, so good. Vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, everything. And then let's get into the meat. So I have a lot of meat here because we are just figuring out what the heck we like. So this I wanted to show you. Um, I The package is in the uh, freezer, but these are Beyond Meat Italian sausage links. And I think one whole link has 12 grams of fat, which actually is the same amount of fat that my regular chicken sausage had. And I am going to be making my 
um, potato hash bowl probably for lunch today so I will show you this because I, I need to make these I haven't tried beyond beef yet so I don't know what it tastes like Brian says it's amazing but I'm gonna try to make my empanadas with this and then phyllo dough instead of um, what I the dough that I usually use because the dough that I usually use has egg in it and he we want it all vegan just to kind of bring to his job he wants to show everyone that what he's eating tastes really good so I'm like praying that it's good and that so that's for not for us for his party which I will cook later this week and then these are going to be dinner one night this week once again I have not tried these Brian has he's eaten them twice already and he loves it he said he can't tell the difference the taste is so good so I'm really excited but um you know vegan food is very high in calories so I'm actually like this is kind of like the perfect experiment because I need to be eating more calories and uh these bad boys have 18 grams of fat in one patty three grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein at 250 calories for just the patty. So I, I think we're having these on Wednesday. Um, so I'm excited to finally try them and some of our other stuff. So this is the Trader Joe's beefless ground beef. This does have, that does contain soy, which I'm going to try to see if it upsets my stomach. I haven't tried anything yet because soy, like I told you guys, really, really usually upsets my stomach, but whenever it's, but I've had soy things before like miso and things that don't upset my stomach. So I don't know if this hurts until I try. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully this does not hurt my stomach because it's really great macros for a third of a cup, one gram of fat, four carbs, and nine protein. That's going to help me so much because I've really been lacking with um, you know protein because it's been hard doing it just with plants. So I will let you guys know if I like this from Trader Joe's. And then I just want to show you guys um, my, my freezer is a mess because I guess it's not that bad. It's just packed. <laughs> so that this is for Brian. Um, he got a meatless meat lovers. It's dairy free. I think it's dairy, gluten, soy, it's everything free. Um, I got these quinoa burgers, gluten free, soy free, vegan, but they don't have much protein in them, but I just wanted to get it anyway. Um, so these have more carbs. They are four grams of fat, 22 carbs, and only four protein. So I will probably pair this with something like maybe more quinoa and chickpeas and maybe top it with my Mediterranean quinoa bowl or something if I'm feeling it. I don't know, but I just want to get this. And let me, oh, okay. Here is, oh, Brian's been eating these. He had um, chicken parm last night with these and he just eats them like a sandwich and he loves them. Um, these are the soyless Beyond Meat crumbles. So these are soy free, gluten free, and vegan. So I know I'm safe with these. Let's see how it compares to the Trader Joe's with the calories. So for half a cup, it is three grams of fat, three carbs, and 12 protein. So this is actually way better because uh, it has a, it has more protein. Yes, it has two more grams of fat, but it's a bigger serving size too. You guys have to pay attention to the serving size when you are looking at your nutrition facts because if something is a small, small serving size and you're like, oh wow, that's great calories, but then you see something else that has higher calories but the serving size is much bigger, you could actually be benefiting from getting the higher calorie thing you know what I'm saying? So um, I will. I need to try these because these actually have more protein and that's my goal. So, okay, Christina. Um, and then since I'm in here, I might as well just show you. This is the Beyond Meat sausage, plant-based sausage, hot Italian. Four of them come in a container and it says 16 grams of plant-based protein. Um, five grams of carbs, 16 protein, 12 fat, and three fiber. So I am really excited to try those today. Like I told you, my first time ever eating some meatless meat. 
Let me show you the other meat products. So these two is jackfruit where, so this does not have much protein at all, but I've always, I've had jackfruit before at a vegan um, Mexican restaurant in California. Oh my God, you could not tell the difference, so good. So I just wanted to explore. So we got this um, Tex-Mex, so we could have tacos, um, quesadillas, taco salad if you wanted to, a rice bowl, a potato bowl. And the good thing about this is that it doesn't expire. Like it doesn't go bad until December, 2020. So that's why I got so much because like this is, I, I can just keep this in my fridge. But just to show you the macros, if anybody's interested, a half a cup is 70 calories, two fat, 11 carb, and only two protein. So um, not much protein. So I would probably have to play around and somehow add more protein in here, maybe mix it with some, mix it with some um, chickpeas or have like a rice bowl and add quinoa or something. So that's that. And then we have barbecue jackfruit, which I thought would be really fun to do like sliders, like barbecue jackfruit sliders. And this is a different brand. So this is for 75 grams. It says, yeah, 75 grams, zero fat, 10 carb, one protein. So. Once again, not a protein source, but that's okay. And then this is something that I'm gonna try as well. I'm not sure when it does contain soy. So just like the beefless ground beef, these two I'm going to experiment with and just cross my fingers that it doesn't hurt my stomach because this would make my life so much easier for hitting my protein better. Um, but I love curry, so I'm so excited about that. And then the calories for this, you get three ounces, seven grams of fat, 12 carb, 14 protein. So good protein on that. And then just to show you the bread I have been eating because I am doing gluten-free as well. So it has not been easy being gluten-free, soy-free, and vegan. Let me just tell you that. But this bread is phenomenal. It's bee-free. They have wraps and different breads. For one slice, it is zero grams of fat and 13 carbs, three fiber and three protein. Oh my God. And the slices are perfect. They're big slices and they're great for avocado toast. I had avocado toast last night for dinner and it was phenomenal. And then these are my favorite, favorite tortillas. I eat these just all the time, regardless of what diet or lifestyle I'm following. Cassava flour, oh my God, these are incredible. Uh, macros are great too, and they're big tortillas. So for two, the serving size, pay attention to the serving size, two tortillas, three grams of fat, 24 carb, and three grams of fiber. Really, they're honestly phenomenal. Oh, and then my, um, this is the milk I drink, flax milk with protein. I love this. It is, for one cup, you get eight grams of protein just with milk, and then three grams of fat from flax, which is amazing, and um, zero, uh, zero saturated fat, that's what we like to see, and then one carb, so. Amazing. So I'm gonna put all the rest of this away. I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, and then I'm gonna stir this because it is it is sizzling at me. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Okay, so I am cooking in real time right now. So I'm sorry if this video is like all over the place, but I wanted to tell you guys that 15 minutes for the sweet potatoes were actually perfect. I'm so glad that I checked them when I did. Um, so they are fork tender. I just pressed, uh, one, like I try to find the biggest pieces and they are, it's perfect. So I turned down the heat to medium low and now I'm just gonna put the camera down so I can grab my Brussels sprouts and then open up this satan. I'm gonna stir everything and I'm probably gonna add some lemon juice as well. And then that's when I'm gonna add my curry powder and my salt. So this is Brian's lunch. It looks so good. Um, I didn't give him too many Brussels sprouts because he honestly does not eat vegetables. <laughs> he eats like three and then he puts the rest in a Tupperware. So I just saved the rest for me and I will eat them today and I'll just add them to my little potato bowl. But yum, this looks good. I am going to split this in half and put these in two meals for him. Hopefully it's not too much food. Maybe I will save some sweet potatoes for him um, just to snack on just at the house or something. So yeah, that looks delicious. So I'm gonna clean up everything and then I will just show you how I put my lunch together. My little, I'm gonna, I think, 
I think I'm gonna have. It's gonna depend on what I'm in the mood for, to be honest. I'm really, I'm so full from breakfast, but I think since I really wanna try the sausage, I think I'm gonna make a bowl of my potato hash, and that's gonna be the perfect fuel for yoga when I go at 4.30. So I am going to get some stuff done around here, and I will see you for lunchtime. Okay, so it is lunchtime. It is 2.42, and I leave for yoga around four, so I have to start cooking. I was working, and one thing led to another, and I'm like, oh crap, I need to eat. So, I just wanted to show you. Let me crouch down, crouch down. Um, I have my sausage, and I just cut it into little um, ovals and i'm gonna try air frying it so i have this olive oil cooking spray and i'm just gonna spray the um sausage because i want it to get nice and crispy i have no idea what this tastes like it wasn't seasoned i don't think i have no idea you guys this is your testing this with me so i got some salt would i have anything other than curry absolutely not so i'm gonna spray the inside make sure they're all in one perfect layer and I'm gonna cook them on 330 I don't know why cuz I uh, wait. I like 330 I like that number I'm gonna do 330 for I don't know eight minutes and we're gonna we're just gonna check it periodically um, to just like shake it up a little bit and so what I'm doing for my lunch is I'm gonna have my potato hash. So the potatoes are already cooked, thank God. I did not have time for that. And then right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to saute up a red bell pepper. Um, love red bell peppers with this. I also have a shallot. Maybe I'll do a shallot as well. Why not? I need to use them anyway. So I'll get a shallot uh, over here. And I'm just gonna saute this up with a little bit of olive oil. And then I have my couple pieces of, br not broccoli, Brussels sprouts. And then I have my potato. And then the secret ingredient, I'm going to chop half of this apple when everything is done and mix it all together. Um, and I might add some kale too, we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna let the camera go and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit just because I want you guys to see what I do but I don't wanna make this video 30 freaking minutes. So let's go. Um, the shallots are tiny little thin guys so I'm going to cook the little bit of bell pepper that I have first and then when they are like a little bit fork tender, they're, they're not as hard, then I will add the shallots just so they don't burn. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Let me show you. They're like fried. The camera's not focusing. They're done, six minutes. So if you get the sausage, six minutes, they're done. It's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh my gosh. The apple, the sweet potatoes, the uh, butternut squash. Look at the crispy little fake sausage. Oh my God, the Brussels. I'm sitting in front of my window <laughs> so I could take a proper picture. I am gonna give it a live taste test. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys, you are with me for the first time ever of me trying meatless meat for the first time in my life. Well, not my life, but, oh, it's such a beautiful day. It's perfect out. I wish I was spending it outside. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna make sure I get a bite because this is important. Japanese sweet potato, apple has to be in the same bite. Okay, and then the sausage. Um, I'm just gonna put it on top. I want like more stuff. Let me get a shallot. I like to have like everything in one bite because it makes it makes the difference. And I top a little bell pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mmm. Yeah. 
how is that not meat? It tastes just like hot Italian sausage. <gasps> wow. Plant-based is not hard. It's hard if you're soy and gluten-free. It's hard. So we're gonna cross our fingers that the soy products that I'm gonna try don't hurt my stomach. We're gonna cross our fingers. I'm gonna eat this because I have one hour until I have to go to yoga and I really have to digest this. They say that you shouldn't eat more than four hours before yoga, but I can't, like I literally can't. I'm, I'm trying to get my period back. I'm trying to heal my hormones. I can't, so I gotta eat this. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Please comment below if you have any questions about my plant-based journey. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Just uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm sorry. I have to eat. I'm like not thinking correctly. I love you so much. Bye.